Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Unprepared. I'm your host, Chase Clymer. And today, we welcome to the show Elena from SMS Bump. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm doing great. How about you, Chase? I'm doing fantastic. Like I said earlier, just producing a bunch of content today for some reason. Uh, but let's let's get into it. So without further ado, what's new with SMS? So a lot of great things have been happening in the SMS world uh, recently. And especially in the last half I would say six months, we've seen with the current change and with mobile commerce exploding, more and more merchants are actually starting to adopt SMS as a channel. And um, I think one of the greatest things of SMS as a channel is that it has great open rates, it has great conversion, and it's really personal, it's direct. So a lot of people just want to jump on that wagon. Um, the new things I would say is a big shift towards um, from mass messaging to personalized messaging. So to really narrow segmentation, really careful targeting and like trying to uh, show bigger variety uh, in the messages for the customers. And I can see this also as an industry trend. A lot of uh, our competitors and ourselves as well are starting to adopt really personalized approach to SMS marketing. So uh, having conversational flows, which means you ask questions and then you uh, offer the customers really personalized offers tailored to their interests, their size, and so forth. Or uh, having really um, deep segment segmentation, like offering people uh, things based on what they like, what they dislike, what their personal characteristics, even what's their gender. Uh, this is, I think, the biggest trend right now in uh, SMS marketing in terms of uh, yeah, app development, but also uh, in terms of what companies and merchants are striving to achieve. The other really big thing what's happening right now in SMS marketing is the shift to conversational commerce. Conversational commerce for someone who I don't, I'm not really sure everyone is familiar with the term is basically trying to make a sale by conversation, that this is something that a lot of the chatbots are currently adopting, like um, the f Facebook bots and like uh, also even the uh, mobile pop-ups that you have with the in-app or with the app installed, uh, and also with SMS. So what we're trying to achieve is we try to push merchants so ask personalized and directed questions to the customer so they can send them like really relevant offers, make sure that uh, their messages are in the end of the day converting. Uh, and um, I can see that everyone in the industry has adopted that thing. And I'm really hopeful that in the next half a year or even one year, we're going to see a huge leap in, in that direction. Yeah, I have interviewed uh, quite a few people in the SMS space recently. And what I'm seeing trends with every app, it doesn't matter who it is, you know, competitors, etc. Uh, the number one thing is like, don't over message your customers and like getting into the segmentation of it is like, key to, to doing that. Because if you're hitting your customers with your SMS uh, communication with like the same frequency as emails, you're more than likely going to just ruin that list, I guess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, actually, this is really interesting. And I think it's really like, for me, how I see, because I, personally, I'm also a marketer and uh, how I see SMS is a channel that has the opportunity to you know, avoid all the mistakes being done by the other channels because what we're seeing right now is this over time of customers with promotional messages, with ads. Like people are even starting to place ads in their communication apps, like Viber. I think we'll see that soon also in WhatsApp. So um, I think there's such a, yeah, such a huge over promotion everywhere in so many channels that we have to be really careful uh, with not over summing them. So definitely, yes, to be honest, what I always say to customers is um, treat SMS as a channel that you text to your ex-boyfriend or someone you like. <laughs> Just, you know, don't want, to, don't want to be spammy. You want to be really natural and you want to text them only when you have something meaningful to say. I think that's uh, the beauty of SMS. It's brief, it's direct, and it allows you to, you know, not to remind about yourself every other day, but just once or twice a month might be enough. 
especially when you have the right offer. Uh, I, that, that piece of advice, don't message people, treat SMS as if you're texting an, S, uh, an ex boyfriend or girlfriend or, or somebody you like that is so on point. That is so key. That's like the, that's going to be the best takeaway of the show. So uh, just <laughs> thank you for sharing that. That's going to help people understand when they should be messaging. Like, is it that important? Yeah, exactly. I think what also a lot of people are kind of not really confused, but like what they take how how they try to treat marketing as a channel is the same way they do email. And I think the two channels are just really different. Like with email, we have this long communication. You have the ability to show your brand in front of the customer. You tell a bigger story. You introduce yourself. It's like it's about you know the creativity and the beautiful way you message and like being you know really creative in the end of the day. Whereas with SMS, it's it's all about br- being uh, really brief. Also, like point people to a straight call to action. You want them, like you have three seconds of their attention, and you want to tell them what what was the goal of that message. Do you want them to sell to buy something? Do you want to remind them about something? Or if you even maybe you want to see how they're doing, it's like you just have to have really three seconds to win their attention, or like in other words, win them or lose them. Yeah, no, that's great advice. So if people uh, want to learn more about SMS Bump or ask you questions about how to better their SMS strategy, how do they get a hold of you and how do they learn about the product? Uh, they can, of course, visit smsbump.com. Um, and also, the, if they want, if it's a question about the app or something, we have a live chat, which is 24-7. If they want to connect with me personally and talk with me more about SMS marketing and if they just need some advice or like some tips on their SMS marketing strategy, I'm also glad to help. They can just email me at elena at smsbump.com. And yeah, I think those are the channels they can reach us. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Have a great day. Bye. Unprepared is not scripted or edited. When I screw up, it's going live. That might work for this show, but that is no way to run a business. Our partner and sponsor, Rewind, can protect your Shopify store with automated backups and quick and easy recovery. Rewind should be the first app you install on your project to protect your store against human error, misbehaving apps, or collaborators gone bad. It's like having your own magic undo button. Trusted by over 25,000 businesses from side hustles to the biggest online retailers like Reebok, Gatorade, or Movement Watches. Best of all, you can respond to any of their welcome emails and just mention unprepared this show and get your first month absolutely free.